uh, we we want to make uh, EDC the hub for medical activities, and it is my dream and my desire that not just for the the, the tribal people, but for the whole people of Tripura who are suffering and who are going outside to Chennai, Vellore, Mumbai, Delhi, Guwahati for treatment, they can get affordable healthcare treatment here. Apollo is a big name and Apollo has decided to come first to Tripura, that also in the ADC and not go to uh, uh, Meghalaya or to Arunachal or to Mizoram or to uh, uh, other parts of the region. They are there in Guwahati of course. So it's a big thing for us. Uh, my next pipeline is to uh, to start a blood bank, a world-class facility for blood bank. We will uh, officially be writing uh, to uh, Apollo to set up a world-class bl uh, blood bank, which will increase uh, participation from the youth as well. And uh, we should also have facilities where we can detect HIV because drugs is a big problem. Uh, injectable uh, drugs are being used. So we also would like to uh, uh, have a system where we can detect HIV through blood testing. And of course, a world-class blood bank so that we can have uh, immediate response to certain emergencies. Following that, we also have a plan to start up a smart hospital. Uh, we have got a lot of assets which were created by the previous government. But then uh, assets itself don't matter anything until we don't utilize it. So we have taken existing buildings where nobody is staying, where there is no usage. And we have offered it to hospitals to come and start hospital there at an affordable rate. It should be cheaper than existing private hospitals and it should actually help the population of the ADC as well as the rest of Tripura. That is one of our preconditions. And the second thing is we want people to come from Bangladesh also and get treated. The economy of our state will grow if people start coming here instead of going to Velour, uh, Chennai and different parts of the country, they come to uh, uh, ADC and get themselves treated. That way our economy will also come up and our people will also get uh, some benefits. What, what kind of uh, facilities people can avail from this mobile media? This mobile uh, thing, you can uh, look at cervical cancer, you can uh, you can have ECG for cardiac patients. A lot of times, what uh, happens is that को छाती में प्रॉब्लम है सांस लेने की प्रॉब्लम है उनको लगता है गैस है वो अगर तला नहीं आएंगे वो डिस्ट्रिक्ट हॉस्पिटल ही जाएंगे अब ये हॉस्पिटल वहीं जाएगा वहां में ईसीजी हो सकता है उनका विमेन का बहुत प्रॉब्लम है ब्रेस्ट कैंसर और सर्वाइकल कैंसर के लिए तो वहां में डिटेक्शन है उसके बाद हमारे बहुत लोगों के विटामिन डेफिशिएंसी है उससे आई लॉस होता है तो यहां में फ्री आई टेस्टिंग क्लिनिक होगा और हम चश्मे भी मुफ्त में दे रहे हैं एज पर द पावर टेस्टिंग उसके बाद शुगर का प्रॉब्लम है हम लोग बहुत जानते हैं कि शुगर का बहुत प्रॉब्लम है और हम लोग इसको डिटेक्ट नहीं कर सकते तो ब्लड शुगर का ये देखेगा मलेरिया डेंगू स्पेशली इन ढलाई डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज प्रेवलेंट यहाँ में डिटेक्शन होगा और उसके लिए इमीडिएटली दवाई भी दिया जाएगा तो ऐसा करके एनीमिक हम लोग के ब्लड का लेवल बहुत लो रहता है थ्रू बहुत रीजन से कारण है वो भी डिटेक्शन किया जाएगा तो इसमें इमीडिएट रिस्पॉन्स है और ये पूरा सैटेलाइट से लिंक है अपोलो के खुद एग्जीक्यूटिव ने कहा है कि वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ने कहा है कि ये इज द बेस्ट अपोलो हैज डन एनी वेयर इन इंडिया ये ऐसा नहीं है एंड वेमेन एंड चाइल्ड को फोकस करके एंड अपोलो का खुद ही का एडमिशन आप उनसे भी सवाल पूछ लीजिए कि ये सिस्टम जो इन्होंने किया है ऐसा नहीं कि हैदराबाद में ज़्यादा अच्छा है चेन्नई में ज़्यादा अच्छा है और त्रिपुरा में कम है ये एट पार विद हैदराबाद एट पार विद चेन्नई उन्होंने आप इनसे भी पूछ सकते हैं कि ना दिस इज अव मोबाइल मेडिकल यूनिट which is loaded with lot of diagnostic devices so it's not only about basic medication of you know primary care it will also give medication in terms of non communicable disease like diabetes hypertension cardiovascular disease anemia cervical cancer breast cancer in women and it will be particularly focused on when you take a mobile clinic into villages we have always found that the closer you take these kind of health facilities more women children and elderly people can utilize it this has been our maharaj constant endeavor when he discussed this entire plan initially and we have loaded everything and the van can also connect to any of the doctors across india for specialist consultation so overall we expect this will impact in nothing less than 7 to 8 lakh people will get access to good quality health care and it's by it's by far is very large expectation and we are we are very aggressive in doing this
So, is there any further plan to introduce more such vehicle in this? Maharaji thing? and the TTADC officials are aggressively working out to bring in more and more healthcare. In the line, there is an EICU plan which is in way. He is exploring some international designs to bring in a faster way out to do this. As Maharaji said about the blood bank, that is one thing. Free dispensing of spectacles is another. Uh, in the season, service for the people, school children will get benefited, quality of work will get improved when your vision is corrected. As I told you, EICU will now actually be able to stabilize patients and keep them here only. So those kind of advanced technology and healthcare services are emphasized, but the larger vision which Maharaji has is to make this into a healthcare tourism hub, not only serve the people here, build economy around them. So it's a Pretty two, three year ka long term plan, but you are seeing that things are happening faster. Thank you. Thank you.